Let me end by addressing a particular line of the current argument being made about the threat to rights and freedoms. I believe this has led to a new definition of a culture of silence. It goes along the line. It goes along the line that when people in government and all government policies are criticized and there is a defense of the people of policies, it is intimidatory and leads to a culture of silence. A radio station is currently running a campaign against free SHS. During the last election, I got the clear impression Free SHS had been endorsed by all political parties, and all we needed to do was to keep improving it. Would a spirited defense of the free SHS policy constitute an attack on press freedom? I wonder. It cannot be that everyone has a right of reply except members of the government and officials. Nor can it be the challenging an opinion expressed by a journalist constitutes an attack on press freedom. What I believe may be sorely lacking in our society today is the need to listen to each other more. Knowledge has never been a gift granted exclusively to one group. We must listen and hear each other more. And for me personally, I find it ironic that the presidency of a man who has been and continues to be daily the most vilified political figure of his generation can be accused of presiding over a culture of silence. There is no midnight knock on the door in Ghana for authors of dissenting views, nor will there be during my presidency. <laughs>